Hey everyone, this is Mrs. Mason. For today's activity, you are going to be writing a letter to a veteran. So in this activity, you're gonna be watching this tutorial. Um, it's gonna be kind of like an interactive tutorial. So you're gonna be watching it. There's gonna be points where you have to pause it. You have to complete the steps. You'll go back and watch the next steps, so on and so forth. So for now, if you need to, pause me if you need to and head to Canva and go ahead and log into Canva. Once you are logged in, you're gonna come up here to where it says create a design. And you're gonna come up in the search bar and you're gonna type in letter. Um, I didn't hit enter or anything, I just typed letter and I waited. And you're gonna come here to where it says letter, US letter, eight and a half by 11 inches. Go ahead and select that. Now you're gonna choose a template. Um, you're probably only gonna have maybe two paragraphs here. So you're not gonna wanna choose something that's like super duper complicated like this. Um, and remember, you are gonna need to kind of customize it and make it more American themed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you pause it. Go ahead and pause me now. Kind of scroll through these templates and decide which one you think is gonna work best for you. And then, after you clicked it and it shows up here, come back to the tutorial and I'll tell you what to do next. So pause me now. All right, I went ahead and chose this one here. Remember, you can come down here at the bottom and zoom in if you need to. I feel like that's too far out. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Um, the first thing I'm gonna have you do is start customizing your aesthetics and changing um, your colors if you need to and any of the elements if you feel you need to change those. So here, where mine says you are loved, I'm gonna obviously change those colors to uh, probably wet, red, white, and blue. Um, remember to do that when you select it, this is where you will change your colors. So let me maybe make this one red, uh, maybe this one blue, maybe this one white, um, and then I'll have to fix that background. But anyways, you get the point. Yep, I'm probably gonna cha change this background here to maybe uh, a gray or something so that I can see that white a little better. So maybe something like this. All right, so go ahead and pause me. I'm also gonna change some of my elements here. So like these little guys here or these hearts back here, I might, ooh, that is part of that. Um, that's okay. But if I wanted to add in some more elements that are more appropriate for my theme, which is Veterans Day, I'm going to come over here and click on Elements. And I'm going to type in America and hit Enter. And then here where it says Graphics, you can go ahead and hit the All. And here is where you can add in, oopsie, I don't know what the heck that was. Sorry about that. You can scroll and kind of see here um, your options. But uh, if remember, everything should be, it should kind of match your theme or your tone. So we're talking about veterans here, which is obviously American and proud to be American. So any, you shouldn't have like images of like puppies or cats or rainbows or things of that nature in there. It should be all American themed. So go ahead now, pause me and change your aesthetics to make it more geared towards veterans. Pause me now. All right, well, unfortunately, it would not let me change the wording to, instead of you are loved, I was gonna change it to you are brave, but it would not let me change the wording. I guess that was uh, more of a graphic and not a text. So I just went ahead and customized it and added in the USA here, the stars, and then I added in the um, fireworks down here and changed the colors of my document. Okay, so now that you've got your aesthetics right, Let's go ahead and start the actual letter. So for your greeting, you are going to want to start with DEAR, with capital D, D-E-A-R. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this a little better. And then from there, um, you can add DEAR VETERAN. You're gonna follow that by a comma. Or instead of Dear Veteran, you could write Dear Brave One or Dear Hero. Any of those works. Just make sure that 
um, your D and your deer is capitalized and your V or your B for brave one or whatever. Make sure those are capitalized and then it is followed by a comma. Go ahead and pause me now if you need to do that. Now for the body of your letter. If you're anything like me, I am not very good at this. So I always like to kind of look at other examples and then I don't copy off of like a letter that I find on Google. I do not copy that word for word. But what I do is I will read several different examples and then I will take um, what I think is the best out of those and kind of make it into my own. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to Google. I want you to Google Veterans Day letter and then go ahead and go to images. And once you've done that, Go ahead and take like five minutes or so and read some of the different letters that are already out there. And then once you have read the different letters and you have found some of the things that you decide you wanted to include in yours, then you are going to write the body to your letter. So go ahead and pause me now. Um, I want you to take a look at at least three different letters on Google. I want you to read three different letters. And then once you've read those three different letters, you can go back to Canva and you can start writing the body of your letter. All right, so pause me now, read your letters, and then uh, come back to me when you're done. Okay, so you wanna go ahead um, and, uh, I just started with Happy Veterans Day. Go ahead and um, tell them, introduce yourself, tell them your name and tell them what grade you're in. And you're gonna go ahead and write two to three to four sentences kind of thanking them for their service if you have um, a personal story if you have a grandparent or an aunt or uncle or sibling or anyone that served in the military you can feel free to share um, your personal story that is fine as well otherwise you're going to write your body thanking them and then you're closing here i just said i hope you have a great veterans day you deserve it um so this is kind of like the body of your letter. Uh, if you need to pause me, go ahead and pause me so you can finish up your body. And then when you come back, um, some, some things aren't necessarily necessary or they don't kind of fit with this. So like here you wouldn't say with all of our love now and forever, that's kind of weird to say that. So I'm just gonna delete that whole thing. And obviously I don't want this mom and dad part. Um, I would want to put my name and I'm pretending like I'm Betty. So I'm just going to put Betty. Um, so do not put your last name on here. We're just going to keep it first names only. So once you've written your uh, the body and you've got your signature, you could put, I kind of feel like this is my closing here. I hope you have a great day. You deserve it. And then I would put Betty here. And then now um, that you've got your body and you've got your elements in here, uh, you kind of need to make it look better. Mine looks um, like there's a, a lot of extra space here. So I'm actually gonna make my text bigger here. I'm just gonna kind of blow that up some to make that fill up more of my letter. Um, I'm gonna use my up arrow there to kind of fix this. I'll probably move this up some. So go ahead now and just do some last minute touches to make it look aesthetically pleasing. It should fill up most of the document. You could, if you wanted to, you could change the font um, on that. You could, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. You guys know how to use Canva. So go ahead and finish it up, make it nice and neat, and then come back to me and I will tell you how to send it to me. Pause me now. Okay, so you're done with your letter. It looks good. Um, and you're ready to turn this in because I'm going to be printing these. So make sure they look good. Make sure you don't have any spelling mistakes. You don't want to make yourself or our school look bad. So make sure if there's anything underlined in red that you fix those. And now you're ready to submit it so that I can print it for you. You're going to come here to share. And you right here, this is very important. Make sure that you do this. Right now, if you send me this link to this letter, I cannot open it because it says only you can access because you are the owner of this letter. So you need to change this from only you can access to go ahead and choose anyone with the link. Basically means anyone you get the link to, they can access that letter. 
So you've got it to anyone with a link, you're gonna hit copy. Then you're going to go to Schoology and you're gonna go into the assignment. And now I cannot show you what to do from here because I don't have your, I only have the teacher's view, I don't have your view. So once you go into the assignment, you should be kind of used to doing this though now. You're gonna hit submit assignment, I think that's over here. Then you're gonna get a pop-up that it has, it's a pop-up, it'll be in the middle of your screen here after you hit submit assignment. The first tab says upload, the second tab next to that says create. You need to click on that create tab. Once you click on that create tab, there's gonna be a big text box. All you need to do is paste that link into there. So you'll click in the text box, you'll hit control V, that's paste control V as in Victor. You should see your link go in there. It might not look like a link, but it'll be fine, I promise. And then you'll go ahead and hit submit. And then I will be able to open those and print those so that we can get them um, to the veterans. All right, I think that's all I have for you. If you're hearing that bell, that's a bell going off while I'm recording this, not necessarily a bell going off while you're in class. So more than likely class isn't over for you. Sorry about that. Anyways, all right guys, have a good day. I can't wait to see your letters. See you tomorrow, bye.